Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Life Lessons series for the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. This is number 297. We continue our foray into the Life Lessons series and uh, hopefully uh, these have been helpful for you. Here at Golden Opportunities Coaching, we are trying to make the world a better place as best we can, whenever we can. And so hopefully uh, this can be helpful to you in a number of ways. If you're looking for coaching, life, business, relationship, habit change, uh, would love to be of assistance to you in that way as well. Please feel free to reach out at PO Perception on Twitter or in the About Me section of this YouTube page. Either one will get you in touch with me or a member of my team. We can move from there. So what are some things that uh, uh, are life lessons that people may need to focus on a little more in order to get the most out of their life? The first thing is uh, you. there are more parts to you than just the how you see your identity now, and your identity is constantly changing, growing, and evolving. So just because you liked a certain thing years ago, just because you were into a certain hobby years ago or certain relationships you thought would sustain you um, are something you're focused on, doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to stay there forever. And I think that's one thing that a lot of people would benefit from looking at is the willingness to see themselves as constantly evolving creatures, beings, people, and ultimately moving in a direction that that evolution remains uh, ultimately in a good in a good space there. So when we begin to understand how to move forward in a in a positive, productive way, um, and also kind of um, move things forward um, in in a way that makes something happen can also be valuable in a number of ways that uh, kind of move things forward for you continually. The next thing to look at is that you are enough just as you are. Just because there are things that you could um, move forward and, and, and master and do better at doesn't mean that you have less value because you don't have everything that you want, need, or kind of work things through. And so when you begin to understand the value of seeing yourself as enough for your own mental health, seeing yourself as enough for your own progress, then you'll begin to be able to see that you have long-term value for your own life in a good way there as well. The understanding the basics of what success looks like for every person are, are going to be different, but also mirror imaging the people that are doing the things you want to do so that you can begin to see the correlation between certain behaviors being in um, a, a good way. Having a healthy relationship with money is another thing that people need to do more consistently. Look, we're going through an inflation. We're going through through issues. We're going through through challenges. And ultimately, um, you know, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of challenges there. There's a lot of difficulty there. And when we begin to understand that at the end of the day, um, you know, no one really is going to know exactly what's coming for you or, or moving through you on in your day to day life and that you have to be able to know that you can't use money as the definition of your success. You can't make um, money the definition of, of whether you're in a pass or fail situation. But at the same time, your use of money in relationship to money is a super important factor in how much joy you're going to have in your life from the standpoint of believing that you have financial security is going to give you more joy because you're not worried as much. You will relate to people differently. So finding ways to develop ways to use your financial uh, wherewithal well is, in, is an important part of things. The next thing is time. How you use your time matters and also not putting time into situations, people or relationships that aren't working for you is another factor to consider on a continual basis. And so when you begin to, you know, ultimately get to a place that matters for you in the long run, you are also creating the need and the opportunity to realize that we all have the same amount of time in every, any given day. We all have the same amount of opportunities to grow or use our time more wisely. Sometimes we win, sometimes we lose. Life isn't always the way we exactly want it to be, but at the end of the day, when we understand the value in doing that, we also understand how to navigate through making that decision in a good way, in a healthy direction. So hopefully this is helpful. 
I encourage you to keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Until next time, everybody.